Hi everyone, welcome to the second part of the video on how to install WordPress on Debian 10. So let's get started. Let me pull up here my virtual machine and I'm going to go full screen. I'm going to make things a little bigger here. So I'm going to click on display settings and drop this to 200% so that it's easier to read. There you go. And now we are in Debian 10. So the first thing actually I want to do, I want to tweak some things before we get started. So I'll just pull up GNOME Tweaks. And I'm going to go to Appearance. And as application, I'm going to choose Advaita Dark. Just a little bit easier on the eyes. And then I'm going to pull up the terminal. There you go. And I'm going to go full screen with the terminal and increase the font size here. So there you go. It's easier to read. So the first thing I want to do before we get started with installation is to actually check for updates. So I'm going to type in sudo apt update and enter my password. And as you can see, all packages are up to date, so there's nothing I need to do here. So I'll clean up the terminal by hitting Control hell And now we can get started with the installation of the LAMP stack. So LAMP stands for Linux, Apache, MariaDB, and PHP. So those are the packages we need to install on WordPress. Since this is already a Linux operating system, we can skip the L. And we can go straight to the A for Apache, which is our web server. So we install Apache by typing in sudo apt install apache2 and we need an extra package which is lib apache 2 dash mod dash php and there you go and when you're ready just hit enter um, i'll accept the packages so i'll just hit enter it's going to take a second here to download and install the packages. And there you go. And now we are ready to install the Maria database. We are going to do this by typing in sudo apt install mariadb-client space mariadb slash server. We need those two packages. And hit enter. I'll accept the packages, so I'll just hit enter to continue. It's going to take again a moment to download and install. Oh, there you go. MariaDB is installed. So let me clean up the terminal again by hitting Control L. And the last thing we need to install is PHP. So we're going to do this by typing in sudo apt install PHP and then space PHP dash MySQL and hit enter. Again, accept the changes by hitting enter. And that was pretty fast. I clean up the terminal. Now I want to navigate shortly to another directory. So let me go to the HTML directory to see what's in there. So I'm going to type in cd slash var slash www slash HTML and hit enter. And then list the files here by typing in ls. You can see we have an index HTML file that means if we would open up a browser right now we would be able to see if the server is up and running so let's try that i'm gonna open up here firefox and i'm gonna expand the window here and close this tab and just enter here localhost which is the basically my machine and as you can see the web server is configured, so everything is working fine. So let's close up the Firefox window here and let's continue with the installation. So now that the web server, the database and PHP are installed, we can proceed installing WordPress. So let me clean up the terminal by typing again Control L. So first of all, I'm just going to switch back to the home directory here by typing in CD and clean up the terminal. And now we can proceed with the database installation. So let's do this by typing in sudo mysql space dash u root space dash p and hit enter and the password. 
And now we can proceed with the database installation. So first thing, let's create the database by typing in create database. Uh, well, I'm going to name this WordPress to keep it simple. And semicolon and hit enter. So this is done. The next step is to create a user for the database. So we'll do this by typing in create user single quote, I'll just put in my name here, single quote, at single quote, localhost, single quote again, identified by single quote, and now the password we'll be using for the database. In this case, I will just choose a very simple password and single quote again and semicolon, hit enter. I'll clear the terminal, and now we are going to give full privileges to this user for this database. So we're gonna do this by typing in grant all on the database name, in my case, WordPress dot asterisk to single quote username, in my case, hermano, single quote again, at single quote localhost, single quote, semicolon, and hit enter. There are still two commands we need to enter. One is to flush the privileges, so we'll do this by typing in flush privileges, semicolon, hit enter, and then we can exit the program by typing in exit, semicolon, and there you go. So I'll clean up the terminal again. So now we are ready to download WordPress. So let me go to the downloads directory first. So I'll type in cd downloads, And just to make sure, I type in ls to see here there is nothing inside. Perfect. Now let's download WordPress. So we'll type in wget space https double colon slash slash wordpress.org slash latest dot tar dot gz. It's a tarball and hit enter. There you go, WordPress now is downloaded. So I'll clean up the terminal. And now we need to extract WordPress. So we'll do this by typing in tar, XPF, and the name of the zip file we just downloaded. So in this case, we just put in the L and hit tab and it auto completes and then hit enter. Now, what we want to do here is to basically put the WordPress data into the HTML directory. So we're going to do this in two steps. The first one is to remove everything what is in the HTML directory. And the second one, we're going to copy the content of the WordPress directory into the HTML directory. So we'll do this by typing in sudo rm space dash rf slash var slash www slash html and hit enter clean up the terminal again, and now we are going to copy the WordPress directory into the HTML directory, and we'll do this by typing in sudo cp-r wordpress space slash var slash www slash html and hit enter. And there you go. Now we need to change some ownerships. So we need to basically give ownership of the HTML directory to the www-data user. So we'll do this by typing in sudo chown for changing ownership dash r recursive space www-data double colon again www-data user and group space dash var slash www slash html and hit enter. Now the next thing we need to do is to give permission to the directory and permission to the files in the directory. So we'll do this by typing in sudo find. Uh, we'll look for the var directory www slash html slash type d. for directory, and we are going to execute these permissions on this directory. So I'll type in slash exec 
h mod space 755 open squarely bracket close squarely bracket backslash semicolon and hit enter and i'm gonna pull up the same command with the up arrow here and change just the last part of it and i'm gonna type in here type instead of d f for file and dash exec to mod again 644 open squarely bracket close squarely bracket space backspace semicolon and hit enter again and there you go so we'll clean up the terminal go back to the home directory and now i want to try and update the packages first so i'll do again sudo apt update And I'm going to restart the Apache server one more time. So I'll just type in sudo systemctl stop apache2 and hit enter. And I'm going to pull up the same command here and type in and start and hit enter. So now let's go to Firefox. And let's type in localhost again. And as you can see, now we can start the installation of WordPress using the web interface. So I'll just choose English here, so I'll click continue. And there are some informations here about the database name and user and password I'll be asked in the next window. So I'll just click let's go. So the name of the database is WordPress, this is correct. And the username I gave into my database was Hermano. And the password was the very simple one, which was one, two, three, four, five. Database host is localhost and table prefix, I let it as it is. And I click submit. And now we can run the installation. So I'll just click run the installation. Okay, so now site title. Well, this is a demo, so I will type it in demo WordPress site. And username admin, yes. Um, I'll just put in my name again. I'll choose my password here. Uh, let's see something different, maybe passwords, dollar sign, two. And I'll put in my email here. And I'll just click install WordPress. And there you go, has been installed. Thank you and enjoy, thank you. And log in. Now let's type in the username and the password and click login. And voila, we are now in WordPress. We can start building our website, testing it, whatever we want to do. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you wanna see more, make sure you like it by clicking the like button below and subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified of future videos. And if there's anything specific you want me to cover, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.